glad that you're here. You have caught us at right before nap time, so we're trying to get out all of our energy so we can search and watch Moana and hopefully fall asleep. <laughs> He's gotten up super early the last couple of days and I am like this now. Ah! What, honey? You say hi, camera. I'm gonna see if I can replicate what happened with my mom yesterday. She said that she would just come over here, they would watch a little TV, he would then want to move. Okay, ready? And then he fell asleep, so I'm gonna do this because I think that a camera is gonna be too much distraction for him and then I will pick you guys up when he is napping. So Owen is down for his nap right now and I cleaned the house earlier when my mom was here. My mom had forgotten her iPad and her phone here yesterday, so she had to come back down this morning. So she hung out for a little bit. And while she was playing with Owen, I managed to get like a 45 minute house clean in. And what I really wanna do in this vlog is I want to do some more deep cleaning bits. So I did the toy box in the last one. Uh, I touched on the pantry a little bit. I think the next one I wanna do is this cabinet above my microwave and those cabinets above the fridge because they're just very cluttery, not organized. And I think that if I take everything out of both of these top little cabinets and really organize them and put them into a spot, we can really organize the crap out of this. I don't know if I'm ready to do it right this second. I just ate some food because I was hungry and then I had some ice cream because why not? And now I just kind of want to sit <laughs> and uh, not do anything. So I might do that because I had a pretty productive morning and I like sitting. I just sat down and watched a, a pretty long show, but I'm going to pull stuff out of that cabinet and pull stuff out of the cabinet above the fridge. And also, do you see that box right there? That's the gingerbread house that we never made in December. Even having it out in a place. I forgot it was there. I saw it every single day and it just became a part of the house. So I'm gonna put that in the other room to be taken out into the dumpster later. And uh, yeah, let's organize some stuff. Maybe make it so that way nothing is on top of the fridge. There's an idea. I think I'm gonna throw a podcast on or maybe listen to music, I haven't decided yet, but, but if you're looking for a podcast, have you listened to mine and Kai's podcast called Case of the Mom Days? You should listen to it. We just talk nonsense the entire time. It's great. Go check it out. Okay, let's go. Listen, I don't always use Goo Gone, but I am always happy that I bought some. The top of that fridge was disgustingly sticky. And earlier, I cleaned the top of my microwave, also disgustingly sticky. And I'm really glad that I bought this. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I would get some Goo Gone even if you don't have any currently sticky projects that you want tackling. I'm just happy that I have it for the things that I need it for. Get yourself some Goo Gone. Going through, let's 
That's one. So going through the stuff, this is what we've got here. We've got a few different categories of things. We've got your paper products. Now, these were cut separately from the plastic cutlery utensils. So do I grab those out of this cabinet and put them all together? I think the answer is yes, I should do that. However, I don't know if my brain will let me do that. Um, but what I'm gonna do is give these paper products a place to live all together, whether or not they're in my kitchen or not is a different situation. When it comes time to clean that other cabinet and go through it and organize it, then I will put those things with like things. Does that make sense? I'm, I think I'm gonna put everything back, or not back, back, but away uh, in a new home. And then if I can get to this cabinet, I will. But if I can't, then at least I will not have pulled all of this out because it does have a lot of like vitamins and medication stuff in it. And it's also where we keep Owen's cups. But I do see some beneficial um, similar things to go with these. Or I could just grab those things out. Uh, this is boring internal dialogue that you don't care about, but this is my diary vlog, so. Yeah, hey, how are you? So we've got these paper products. We had these baking things in there, and I think some of these are expired, so I will check the dates on these and throw out the ones that are expired, if they're expired, and then put these with um, baking, which I was going to put baking stuff up there, obviously, but then never did, so it's not actually where baking stuff lives. These were takeout containers. I think I'm gonna recycle these. Plastic cups probably should go with these, right? These are hot drink to go cups because I figured like when we had cold weather parties, so maybe this should be in like Christmas winter time or maybe, I don't know. But I don't think that they should live with the uh, disposable emergency stuff. Then we've got dog things, which I would like to live all together. Paper bags, I'm not sure what my thought was behind buying these. And then we've got two cookbooks. This is for knives, and then this is a bug zapper. And then these candles are gonna go up with the candles. So right now I've got, this one is all empty. That one had stuff that I wanna keep up there so I didn't bother bringing it all out. And you guys just saw how I cleaned the top of the fridge. It looks so much better. The question is where to go. Oh, and these big, these things. This is a bread maker, and then this is like a handheld chopper. I'm gonna take this to Goodwill. I'm gonna put this in the basement. We've had this for a few years, and we haven't used it in a while. And now we have the KitchenAid, which I think we would rather use for making bread. We've never made a successful loaf of bread, so I think it's time to part with the bread maker. Dave really wanted this bread maker, but if I put it down in the basement for a while and he forgets that we even have it, I think that that is licensed to donate it after two years, I think we've had it and haven't used it and he hasn't asked about it or thought about it or ever brought it up. So I think we can probably get rid of it. Owen just woke up, so I will have to get him before I show you <laughs> uh, what I did, so. Let's get Owen first and then we will uh, talk organization. Hello? Well, oh, mommy almost fell. Uh, yeah. Me. You wanna go look at the snow? Uh, yeah. Hey. Hey, there's the snow. If you guys wondered where Owen's closet doors lived, they live in this guest room area with the mattress on the floor for my mom. And it's snowing outside. It's been snowing most of the morning. It's almost three o'clock now. Big step. All right, big step. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What? Whoa, what a cute boy. <coughs> Is you a cute baby? Is Mala a cute baby? Want me to come lay with you? Yeah. yeah. Um, ew. don't lick inside my ear. Good girl. Oh. So we're downstairs now and just trying to, 
get some Mickey rolling. I've got dinner started. Um, maybe mommy can have this. I don't need you breaking more things. All right, is Disney Plus gonna work? Yes. Mickey Mouse ended and he tried, he uses the remote to start a new episode, but sometimes he hits the wrong button. Yeah, but making some dinner. I don't know when Dave's gonna be home, but it is five o'clock and Owen starts getting like hungry, cranky. Like, I mean, I get it. I get hungry, cranky too, so I understand. So I started cooking dinner. So I've been, I've been making a weekly menu and today was going to be flatbread pizzas, but they didn't have the flatbread that I ordered at Hannaford. Instead, they gave us the spinach lavish flatbread. It's, they're wraps. <laughs> This is not flatbread. This is a wrap. This is not what I wanted. I can't make pizzas on this. So I'm moving ahead. And then usually midweek I do a, a little food pickup thing. So I'll go tomorrow or Thursday or something and just grab some flatbreads to make the flatbread pizzas we were going to have tonight. No big deal. And then also an excuse to get out again. So it'll be fine. But hopefully he will play and I'll be able to get this dinner made. Good morning. I am doing the sock curl on my hair today. So that's why I'm just gonna keep my hood up. So it looks a little crazy. And also I'm not ready to take them out yet because I wanna like do my makeup and stuff first. Or do a little bit of makeup. I'm not gonna go too crazy. Nighttime has been getting to be so long. It's such a chore, which obviously having a baby it's gonna be a chore but you would hope that by like this toddler stage of him being around for 19 months that his sleeping would be a little bit better than it is in case you don't know so he goes to bed we put him in his crib after he's asleep i know put him to sleep sleepy not sleeping shut up uh, so we put him into his crib sleeping uh he wakes up he comes into our bed he nurses and then Lately, in this past week, he's been getting up every 40 minutes, and <laughs> it's not fun. So last night, I was trying to uh, remedy this, and I was like, okay, listen, we can't keep nursing like this. We can't keep meeting like this, okay? So I, uh, I, I didn't give in to his need to nurse at 3.20 in the morning, which it is all comfort. There is no nutrition happening at 3.20 in the morning. It's all the comfort which i'm cool with i understand i want to comfort you i'm happy to cuddle we can cuddle uh does not have it he screeches at the top of his lungs so we went into his room and i held him and i pet his head while he was falling asleep in the crib and he gets to the point where he is almost out and then he will stand up and demand to be out of the crib and if you don't he does a screaming thing again and we did that dance for an hour and then i passed it off to dave and i was like i'm not doing this so Dave took him, he tried to put him into his crib. He ended up taking him into our guest room, onto that bed, and they slept in there from 4.30 until this morning at 7.30, 7.40. And he did, he would wake up, see that it was Dave, kind of poke him a little bit, and then uh, lay back down and he went to sleep. And it's just, I don't know if it's comfort or just want the addiction. <laughs> I don't know what it is. What's the difference between comfort and want at this point for that with him? I don't know what it is. I might have to struggle through that. Mala's eating. Is this a good time? No. But she hardly ever eats when Cece's not here to eat with her. So we're gonna let her do that, I guess. I'm gonna eat some, eat some coffee. I'm gonna drink some coffee. I'm tired. I can drink some coffee. I'm gonna watch some Mickey with Owen. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do until it's real breakfast time. Owen kind of snacks on Cheerios until it's real breakfast time. I got more to talk about, but we'll do it when Mala's not eating. She's all done. I just rounded the corner and she's all done now. Should I go back to what I was talking about? So for a little while in January, probably not more than a couple weeks, I was doing a 20 minute workout every day and went through something during January and I just kind of fell off of doing my workouts. They weren't anything huge, extravagant, really hard or anything, but a 20 minute workout really hyped up my day. <laughs> and I've gotta find a way to get myself to do that again. 
and that's not easy. The restarting is not easy. Putting it into my routine is not easy. I just recently, in the past couple of months, hey. added washing my face in the morning into my routine, and that was a struggle. Hi. Do you want to sit with mommy? Yeah. So between not doing that workout and have not been eating as well because I was not eating well when we were eating HelloFresh. So just trying to eat better foods, eat more green things, uh, and I have not been doing that. Just uh, thought about it because it's a great thought, but I'm not putting it into practice. Ah! You dropped that on the floor, why? I love you. Hey. Want some Play-Doh? Hey. So that's just kind of where we are. I'm feeling sluggish, my body is not right, and it's things that I could do easily if I could convince myself to do them. <sighs> yeah. Do you want to go sit with mommy and uh, watch Mickey Mouse? Yeah. Yeah, so mommy can drink her coffee. Because mommy is tired because someone keeps the rope on my Thank you. Here you go. We're going to go in the living room. Stop your feet. We're gonna go watch Mommy's coming. You wanna see what happens when you're focusing too much on yourself and you have a toddler. This is what happens. Uh, he pulls all of my lipstick out of the drawers and then he sticks his finger into the tubes. And now we got this. It's all over his hand. We washed most of it off. Oh man, was this my favorite one? Was my favorite one. It's fine, I don't wear a lot of lipstick right now. Mama. Mama, mama, he yells for my attention. We're trying to switch it to saying, mama, mama, what buddy? You want to get in the chair? What do you want to get into the chair for? We just got dressed too because when he, he was just in a diaper, so he didn't get any on any clothes, but then he is pulling his diaper down and uh, exploring what's in there and which is fine i'm all for body exploration but not at the age where you're you just piss yourself <laughs> do i have food in my teeth i do good good now he's climbing this this is what he does he just gets up and he climbs his high chair so i've got to clean off the tray because we had breakfast so that way he can't do this you you've got to pay attention to what you're doing if you're going to be climbing bud you can't get distracted while you're mid climb all right how about we get down so second time doing the sock curling. The first time I did it, it was dry, so obviously it didn't hold very long, and also I had thrown in a ponytail that day. Um, my hair holds a lot of moisture, so right here is actually still wet. I probably shouldn't touch it. So that's definitely gonna fall flat. I need to make sure that my hair dries a little bit longer before I try to do it again. And I did really tight curls at the bottom, which I probably could have made them a little bit looser than what I did. But overall, like I would do French braids to get like a crimpy look. So this does work for me as far as trying to get curls in any way. Plus it's heatless and it's not a lot of effort on my part, which is good because I can't keep a, uh, I can't maintain a look that takes a lot of effort. It's not me. I do like that aspect of it, and I think that it does do an all right job. I just need to get better at it. Are you cuddling the kitty down here? That's so nice. Yeah, the cat is much more tolerant of you than the dog is. Owen is napping. I just did like a 30 minute clean. I set a timer on my watch and listened to old angsty music from my teenage years, and cleaned for 30 straight minutes. Feeling all right about it. At least I've got dishes running. My sink gets full of recyclables that need to be like rinsed out and stuff. So we've got those sat in the sink right now, draining or drying. And yeah, there's something else I wanna do. What is that? Yeah, so I'm gonna sit and hang out a bit longer. I, I went to bed like, couple hours ago, so he'll probably be up soon. Maybe I can squeeze in some uh, sim playing before that. Owen woke up about 30 minutes ago, I wanna say. He slept for like, I think three and a half hours. That is so long. Hopefully he will sleep all tonight. Yesterday he didn't 
really nap at all, so I'm not surprised that he was pretty tired today. But like I said, night times have been a bit of a struggle. But I did manage to play a little Sims. Dave came back a little bit after working and we got to hang out a little bit and then he's gone out to see if he can get a plow job. Uh, I did just now go back through this cabinet and reorganize medicine and Owen cups. So it was all mixed up together and now it is more organized. Like vitamins, medicines, and here and then Owen's cups down here. So I did do the tiniest bit of organizing. At least there's that. Not a whole lot, obviously, but some is better than none. I'm gonna make dinner in a little bit. Owen's snacking right now and Dave's out, so I'm gonna try to hold him off for as long as possible before I start making dinner. We're gonna hang out. We're just gonna watch some Mickey Mouse and maybe play with some toys and do some reading. So I'm going to think about where I want to organize in the kitchen next. I'm thinking it's time to either tackle the Tupperware. So that's in these cabinets. This, oh, that's not even ours. That belongs to our neighbor. So these, and then I've got glass storage in here travel mugs, regular mugs, and then plastic Tupperware. I wanna go through and match, because I don't mind having plastic Tupperware, but I like to have like a high quality one that's gonna last, and I don't know, probably rearrange the height of these shelving units. Or, if I don't do that, I can organize our snack cupboard. This is like snack bread nuts and baking. It's just such a mess. So I would have to take everything out of this shelf, everything out of this cabinet down here, which is a lot of baking stuff. And then everything I think out of here as well, which I have taken everything out of here a couple different times and reorganized it. But I think that some stuff needs to cross pollinate and be in a different cupboard. So between these three cupboards, this is where our food lives. And they're all spread out, which is not a problem, but like things should be with like things and they're not. So, I don't know. We'll see which one I decide to tackle. We'll see how motivated I am, how much energy I have to get it done. So we're gonna have dinner and call it a night. Thank you so much for watching and I will meet you back here on Sunday. Hey. <laughs> Why? Because it's it's a great mark. I bought you the best mark. It said best on it.